Hello and welcome to my daily harvest taste testing video. This is not sponsored, I bought the box all on my own. I've been very excited about the subscription idea. If you are coming from my unboxing video, you know everything that's going on here. This is the video that comes at you a little bit longer because I grabbed my phone every time I made a smoothie or the one soup that I ordered and gave you a taste test review the moment that I tried it. I'm also right now hitting my last smoothie of that first box. There are six in each box and I'm now about to taste test the last one. But before I do that, I will give you a review of the previous ones that I tried. Okay, time to smoothie it up. It is gonna be my breakfast, so I'm going with the smoothie that has cold brew coffee in it. It's called Cold Brew and Almond Energizer. So the instructions are choose your liquid. We'd go with a creamy option like almond milk. Fill the cup to the top with liquid and toss in the blender. Blend and pour everything. So I don't have almond milk on hand, but I just blended up in the blender there some uh, soaked raw organic cashews and water. That's what I do. I always have cashews soaking in the fridge in case I don't have almond milk or if I just want a more natural um, version of almond milk. So you just take the black lid off. And there's a plastic. Oh, you can see the cubes of cold brew. And pour my cashew milk. It might not be enough. I might have to add more water, but almost enough. It's just filled to the top, so I'm just gonna top that off. And now that I've measured, put it back in all together. Let's do this thingy. All right, so that's done running. It got stuck for a split second, but then it picked right back up. So I assume it's gonna be pretty thick. Usually when a smoothie gets stuck, but then catches back, it's because it's thick. So it's pretty icy. I'm not sure I'm pumped with that texture. It looks very icy. I like my smoothies smooth, but we'll try it out. So I'm gonna use the cup as the to-go container. Lid back on. I have these glass straws from Amazon. If you're curious, I can link it below. Moment of truth. You can really taste the coffee. A lot. And it isn't as icy as um, it looked. It does taste kind of watery. Yeah, not a big fan of this one. I probably won't get it again. I'll certainly drink it. It's almost like an artisan version of a co coffee culotta from Dunkin' Donuts. I remember getting those in high school. Although this just isn't as good as that, so. Honestly, it's pretty watery. Certainly use the milk, not water with this one. We'll see what the next one tastes like. Today's day of the harvest is gonna be mint cacao. Okay, taste test. Before I even taste it, it smells very minty, like mint chocolate chip ice cream, minty. Very good. Chewing on cacao nibs, they're crunchy. The mint flavor is really nice. And the texture isn't as icy as that cold brew I had. Oh, no cacao nibs in that sip, so. This is phenomenal. It tastes like mint chocolate chip ice cream. It literally tastes like a smoothie. I'm sorry, a um, mint chocolate chip ice cream shake. But the ingredients are surprisingly different. <laughs> Something I didn't mention yesterday when I had the cold brew for the first time, but I noticed later, was that they have nutrition labels on these cups. And so it lays out all the nutrition for every cup. And it also notes that 
yesterday it said this and today it says this as well that a serving size is half the cup um, but I'm having the whole thing and for this one as a reference point calories are a hundred protein is two sugars are six so you just times everything by two if you're gonna drink the whole thing like I do incredible huge fan of this I was nervous because of how little I liked the cold brew smoothie, but number two has really stepped up the game. I could have this every day. It's a scorcher today in Boston. I need me a smoothie. I'm gonna go for the chocolate blueberry vitality and keep this part pretty short, just the review of the taste because at this point you know how it all works. Bon appetit. Very smooth. Surprisingly chocolatey and sweet. This is another one that could substitute as a dessert. Rich, chocolatey, and sweet. You don't taste too much banana in this one. Or really blueberry. Mostly what I taste is chocolate and richness. Milkshake style. I like it. Okay, it was hot the other day. Today it's rainy and cool, so you know what that means. We're gonna do the soup. Well, that's kind of awkward. The instructions on the cup said you could fill the cup with water or coconut milk. I did water, but I just added two frozen cubes of coconut milk that I always have ready in the freezer. It's canned, full fat coconut milk because it was going to look a little bit watery to me, and this is my dinner, so I want it to be hearty. Here's how it came out. I think adding a little bit of coconut milk was key to really add the creaminess. Excuse the inevitable slurp. Very flavorful. Certainly tastes like a curry. Lots of carrots. The broth is really nice. I think it is key to add some coconut milk to make it creamy. Also to add some calories because the entire cup on its own is only 120 calories. So I'm glad I added the cubes of coconut milk. I like all the kale that's in here. I'm also very happy with how quickly it was ready. A matter of minutes, honestly. And you could certainly add to it if you wanted to bulk it up. You could add beans or chickpeas would go really well in this or rice more cauliflower. I like it. I would certainly do it again. Okay, so those were four taste test reviews. I'm now coming up on the last one. I realized that I forgot to grab my phone and give you a taste review of the blueberry hemp smoothie that I also got in this box. It was very, very good. I will paste the ingredient list here for you all to see what was in it. I like it enough to order it again, and I really appreciate the fact that it had hemp protein in it because sometimes it's nice to get a little boost of protein, especially if I'm having a smoothie in the morning. But let's get into the sixth and final one. The one I left to the last is carrot and chia. Honestly, I think I left this one to the last smoothie because I didn't really know when to drink it. Right now I'm drinking it at lunchtime and I'm pretty excited. It's a nice creamy texture. Some of them have been more creamy than others as you saw and I like my smoothies creamy. Ooh. It is very smooth. I don't really taste carrot or even sweet potato. It does taste sweet and creamy. Honestly, what I'm tasting is the ginger nutmeg cinnamon. I almost would equate it to a pumpkin smoothie. Anyway, I would certainly get that flavor again. Yum. Now that I'm done with my first subscription box from the Daily Harvest, a few things that I've learned are that one, a high speed blender might be crucial. Uh, I'm not sure how well these would work in a normal blender, but if you've tried them in a normal blender, please comment below to let everybody know if it works or not. Uh, my Vitamix is pretty powerful, and so I just wonder whether or not it would really smooth everything out in a normal blender. Secondly, you really should fill the cup all the way. Anytime I kind of skimped on the liquid a little bit for whatever reason, it needed more when I tried to blend it up. I had to add more liquid later. Third is that six smoothies is kind of a lot for me in a week. I could get through five, um, or maybe was it was four, 
in seven days, but I'm gonna stay subscribed and I'm just going to skip a box every once in a while. So anytime it's about time to receive a new box and I see that I have a handful left in my freezer still waiting for me, I'll just skip that next week's box. Anyway, I would get all the flavors again, except the cold brew coffee one. I won't get that one again, but every other one was good in different circumstances. So I'm excited. I'm really looking forward to trying more in my next box and keeping up with the subscription. I hope you had some fun watching this video. Thank you for sticking around until the end. And if you'd like to subscribe to follow along with more of my food journeys, please do so. And I look forward to seeing you around.